The house-wide IV insulin protocol at Wyoming Medical Center achieved suboptimal results, including unacceptable error rates and unacceptable rates of hypo and hyperglycemia. Therefore, the protocol was revised twice. However, each revision still achieved suboptimal rates of hypo and hyperglycemia and medication errors. Thus, it was decided to implement a Computer Glucose Monitoring System, or CGMS, to improve upon the deficiencies of the IV insulin paper protocol. After implementation of the CGMS, patients on IV insulin infusions had substantially lower rates of hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia, and increased rates of glycemic readings in the goal range. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show decreases in the rates of clinical hypoglycemia, severe hypoglycemia, and hyperglycemia and increases in time in the glycemic goal range through implementation of a CGMS as compared to the use of IV insulin paper protocols. The main advantage of the computerized glucose monitoring system over IV insulin paper, paper protocols is that they're easier to use. They're more effective at managing glucose. When you're using a computerized glucose monitoring system, you get less hypoglycemia, less hyperglycemia, and more time within the target goal range. The initial housewide IV insulin paper protocols at Wyoming Medical Center were modeled after the initial Vandenberg study. We did not receive the results we had been expecting with that. So we then revised the protocol following the Trent's works. Even through a second revision of that, we did not receive the results we'd been expecting. It was decided to implement a computerized glucose management system to improve upon the deficiencies of the IV insulin paper protocol.